Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Tableau Zen Master Luke Stanky. And in this video, we're gonna create a ring map, but before we even start, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get the latest updates from our Data Coach channel as they come out. Anyway, in this video, we're gonna create this ring heat map. And this ring heat map basically shows profitability by week and also size by sales. And it's in a ring and we have four years of data because we're using Superstore data. We've got each week sort of shown out on this view. So the question is, how do you recreate this visualization? Let's hop into Tableau. Uh, we're already in Tableau, frankly, but uh, let's go ahead and recreate this visualization. You'll find it'll go pretty quick when it comes down to it. One thing to note when we make this visualization is because we're working with a circle, we wanna work with radians, just like back in geometry, and we're gonna work with the radius or the size of the circle. So we have two major calculations to create, and then we use sine and cosine to place everything onto our view. Anyway, let's get started and build out those calculations. And again, before I get started, I wanna bring up another point about this visualization, is that we're gonna work with years and weeks, but, the way we're gonna work with them is not the traditional way. If you think about the calendar year, the first of the year, the week one, the number of days in the first week is always dependent on the start of the week. That means that the first week and frankly the last week aren't gonna be nice, clean weeks. They're always gonna have very varying number of days. Well, with this example, we're gonna use the ISO date funk fields so that whatever week one is, it'll be the first Sunday of the year. And this actually might go into the previous year. So whatever the first is on, that's week one, and then the first Sunday is actually the first day of the year. So it's a little bit of an adjustment. And the way we'll do this is we'll just right click and we'll choose ISO 8601. And you'll see as we do this both for year and week, the number of days in that section changes and it's five days here because that's the number of sales that we had days on but this now would be up to seven versus it could be any variable number so now it's all sevens except for the last week and the last week will always vary but you can see a number of the weeks actually have seven but there's a week 53 in the most recent year of data so week 53 also isn't going to exist as much but if i did like a control z on this you'll see 53 exists in all four years so we're really consolidating our data down for this example. Anyway, let's hop in. We're gonna create first our radians calculation. It's the inside, right? How many degrees should each of the circles be placed? And the way we're gonna do this, we're just gonna say two times pi. So that's our classic two pi r formula. And then we're gonna multiply this by a little bit of magic here. So we're gonna multiply and calculate essentially each of the radius is uh, radians from the here. So we're going to put uh, one parentheses here, actually two, and we're gonna say ISO week. So this is gonna return the, the week number. And we'll use order date and we'll say minus one on this. So this is gonna return the week minus one when it comes down to it. So week one will be zero and week 52 will actually be week 51, the number that's coming out of this calculation. So this will help us build our circle. And then we're gonna take this whole section we have here and we're gonna divide this by a fixed calculation. So we're now gonna say fixed in the, in the denominator. We're gonna go by ISO year and we're gonna look up the order date. So by year, what do we wanna return or what's our divider? Well, it's actually just the maximum week number. So we're gonna say max ISO week order date. And what this is, uh, the reason we're doing this is because if we took a look back at our data, in this example, week tw uh, 2020 had week 53, all the other had 52. It would be unfair to divide 2020 by 52 weeks. Rather, we wanna divide that by 53 and then all the others by 52. So this is creating a denominator that is going to be 52 for us. So once we have this written out, we just need to close a parenthesis and now we can just call this, let's call this radians. Nice simple calculation. That's gonna go in our sine and cosine calculations. Now we have essentially all the different degrees calculated on our map. We just don't have the years separated apart. So how are we gonna separate out the years? Well, 
This one will also be pretty easy when it comes down to it. Let's just call this the ring height. And we'll just say ISO year of order date. And we're going to subtract the min ISO year of order date. And this is going to return the last year in our data set. Let's take a look at where I missed one. I missed a parenthesis in here. So let's add that back in. So now this, uh, if you know, 2020 is 2020 minus 2017, that's going to give us a value of 3, uh, 20, uh, 17 minus 2017. That's going to give us zero. Uh, that's not going to allow us to return anything. So we have to add at least one number in here, but I'm actually going to add four. I'm going to add four because it gives us that nice ring rather than being a tight circle. It'll be a little bit of space in between it so that we can clearly see each of the rings around the values here. So we'll hit OK. And now, now it's the fun time. Now we can just start building out this ring. So we're just going to create a new calculated field. Let's call it X ring. This is going to go on our columns value, but we can just say height, our ring height times the sign of our radians. That's it. I'm going to copy this calculation. That's because it's, we're just going to adjust for the Y ring, the sine and change it to cosine. So X rings done. Let's create a new calculation to go with that. We'll paste this in here. We're just going to change sine to cosine. We can just call this Y ring. That's it. That's the two calculations we really need. Now we'll just go find those calculations that we just created. X ring on the columns. We'll change this to be a dimension. And then we'll take Y ring, do the same thing out onto rows this time change it to be a dimension. And there we go, we, now we've got our circles. And if we just hover over the points here, right on this axis, this is actually going to be what uh, should be our year one values. The start of the year should be the values as we see here. And we can check those if we just double click on our view here and just type ISO week order date. And we can hit enter and let's do the same thing again, double click type ISO year this time and type in order date. So ISO week and ISO year. Now if we hover, we'll see the tooltip and we'll see sure enough, 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020, all four years, week one, starting at the top and then working like a clock all the way around our view here. And then these will be our last weeks, 53, 52, 52, and 52 respectively. So now that we have these created, now we can make a heat map out of this. So what are we gonna heat map? Well, let's change our mark type, choose circle. Now we can go find sales, place that on size. So now that we're sort of sized by the amount of sales, then we can go find if you have this already in your data and you've connected to Superstore, Tableau automatically creates a profit ratio calculation. Otherwise, this is just sum of profit divided by sum of sales. Let's click and drag that onto color. And we can just resize this up a little bit. So that's the main part of this ring. From here, let's format, right click, format. You've heard me say it a bunch if you watch these videos, remove the, all the grid lines, remove all the zero lines, remove all the axis rulers, and remove all the axis ticks. Now you can right click and remove the axes. I'm not gonna do that right now, but that's what we would do because I'm going to show you one last nice little trick to go with this visualization. So now that we have the rings created, you know, some people it's easy to follow for maybe you it is, but for others, when we're looking at this ring, they need a little bit of guidance. They need something behind the scenes that allows them to see the visualization a little bit easier and a guiding ring. So what we can do is we can just click on X ring, hold down your control button and duplicate this sheet. You'll see that I now have this little tick here. Now I have a duplicated sheet. I'm just gonna click on that second marks card I'm going to change my mark type from circle to line. It doesn't look like that anything's changed. That's fine. We're going to remove profit ratio. We're going to remove sales. And now we're going to take ISO week and place that on path. Now we have these concentric circles that you can see a lot better. We could just change the size here, change it down, really tone it down quite a bit. And now if we do a dual axis, on these, let's synchronize them. Right click on the bottom axis, synchronize. And then on the axis again, right click and move the marks on the bottom axis, the circles to the front. 
And now you'll see that they're sitting on top of that circle. If you do want a label for your, your years, which I would highly recommend, I would say click on the X ring, click on, uh, let's create a calculation to show those labels. So I think we could do this. We're just gonna try this out. I haven't done this yet, but let's take year, put it on label and then choose label. And I'm going to attempt to see if this works. Um, yeah, it's not gonna work, unfortunately. Uh, that's all, that's okay. You know, sometimes we try something out to see if it'll work because they're like, oh, I've never tried that. And there's a reason you haven't tried it. So here we go. Create a new calculated field for your labels. We can just call this year labels. And we'll use this in future videos as well. So it's not that big of a deal. But all you would say is if your ISO week of order date is equal to one. So if it's the first week of the year, then you, um, let's make sure we choose the right ISO year of order date and that's it. Now we can hit OK. Let's go find our labels here. I probably have more than one. Yep, year labels. Let's just place this out on label. And Tableau doesn't like it right now because it's, um, you know, overlapping with lots of marks. Let's change it to dimension, by the way. Otherwise, you're going to have an aggregation of years. So we don't want an aggregation of years, changing it to a dimension. Now, when we click on label, we can allow it to overlap with other marks. And um, I'm not sure why it's not showing up. Let's go ahead and, you know, like I said, sometimes we dive in, we see why things aren't working. But if I hover over my point, my year labels look like they should be showing up. All right, so you know what? I looked a little bit closer, very obvious fix. This is what happens when you toggle around with options and we tried to do something and it didn't work. We, we chose most recent. We want all labels to show up. And let's change this back to allow overlapping labels. Now we can do left and center align. I know this, this overlaps here. It's not perfect. Um, maybe we could just change this. Again, sometimes we just have to play with things, center it up and then go like just above the dot. Yeah, that kind of works too. So I think this is the solution we'll land on. Um, anyway, now that we have this done, we can just right click on our axes, uncheck show header, and we have our circular ring heat map. That's how we do it. That's how we build it in Tableau. It really takes four calculations to sort of get it in place. The rest is formatting and making it look good. That's the whole point of these videos is not just to showcase how to create it, but also to enhance it at the same time. Anyway, that's this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, hit the like button. Um, and I got to know, would you use the ring background? Do you like the line in the background? So just down in the comments, just write line or no line, and we can see how we all are responding and get a sense. Would you put it in there? Does it help your users? Uh, anyway, that's this video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Uh, see you.